Hello again, everyone. This is Vanguard of, Ves <laughs> Vanguard of Valor here with another episode of Vessel. And we're, uh, looks like we're in for quite a little puzzle here. We have made our way through the orchard. We are now in the control room where we have to manipulate enough of these turbines to accomplish some task. I'm not entirely sure what it is, though. It seems as though we can redirect the flow of goop by, uh, clicking these levers. So let's see how far we can control it. Aha! That's blue goop into the blue goop storage bay. Looks like we have to get red goop in there now too. So that it can explode in there and we can open up our door. Let's see what we've got. Let's turn the red goop around from the get-go. That blasts it through the pipe. Now we need to send it over here to the left. Perfect. <laughs> Seems a pretty dangerous combustion engine to me. I'm glad that thing's well built. Oh no, hang on. There's a wall here, I can't go that way. What am I even supposed to be doing here? I'm guessing I have to get a fluoro of some color through here, but this door is also sealed. Ah, I have to do the other side as well. And then I have to get a fluoro to run all the way through for me. Alright, well let's make our way back up to the top and we'll see what goes on. Now we need to run the blue all the way across to the far side. Start with the red, because that'll be easiest, given that it's the closest. Let's see here. Change the direction of the red. Nope. Change direction, please, red. There we go. Oh, fell down. We're almost there, though. All we gotta do is change this last lever. Click. Uh-oh. We got blue running around. Oh, that was kind of easy. The other one isn't even working. There must have just been a splash of blue from one of the other ones in there. That's disappointing. Let's go back, work our way around, and we'll see what we would have had to do anyway. So. I don't like cheating that puzzle. So let's see, that should send it this way, which is going to work. I have to send it across there now. So you got to switch this one. you got to switch this one. you got to switch that one. That should put the blue all the way to the other side. You can hear the explosions. It must be working. Yeah, well, they're both in there now. Perfect. There must just be a couple problems with the spring. If we need to get something to run all the way through here, we're going to need to turn our spray downwards. So that they have a reason to want to run through. Now, how am I going to get a red one all the way around to there? Explosions imminent! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Man, you red guys, you're exploding like crazy. Can I get red over here in a manipulatable way? I'm not sure I can. So the way I got red here before was only throw them in there. I guess I could. Oh no. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, game? Okay. I gotta find a way to get a red creature all the way down there into that delicious red juice. Oh, hey! Keep going! Yeah? No, no. Keep going that way. I don't know how you got down there, but I like it. Oh, you're one of those ones! Of course you are. 
Okay, well we got it. That was all we needed to do. Now all I have to do is run through that door. So it was a fairly convoluted maze though, I like it. Good puzzle. Whoa! Down the branches into the depths. This is very underdeveloped for a top secret lab. What's going on here? We got a cannon? Yeah, this is a juice cannon. You can f fire blue, fire red into their respective cannon holes. What does this do? It feels like water. Lots of water dripping around though, shouldn't be lacking for it. Whoop! Spawned a red friend. What are you gonna do, red friend? Oh no, you're gonna start pushing the buttons. So let's start aiming this into the middle of the machine. Nope, oh, no, that's a wall. Where am I supposed to aim it then? Maybe right down into the red cannon's slot? Yep, that looks good. Ow. Here we go. There's blue into the red cannon. Red and... Oh god, that was purple going in there. This does seem dangerous. <laughs> is highly volatile. I let the red accumulate though. Now I got a pile of purple, let's send it up into the machine. Do a damn thing. Okay, so I've got the right thought, I think, but the wrong method. So I just spray water in there. It fills it up with red. Okay. Let's fill both of these suckers up to full. Blast a full blast of red in there. The entire container full of purple. For some reason it's not working. That core of blue doesn't want to go away. Uh, hang on, here is a crack in the glass. That looks like exactly what I was looking for. That's a way I can fire into the machine. This is not quite as scary a boss fight as I was anticipating, though. <laughs> After the uh, giant lava demon monster, and the fact that these guys explode when you put them together, I was definitely expecting something a lot more dangerous. I may be in for something a lot more dangerous, I just haven't seen it yet, but... Ow. Ow! Oh, come on! That was a tiny bit of blue that touched me. There was no way that was necessary. No way that was necessary. <sighs> Alright, well, I think we're on the right track. Let's go fill up on water. And do this... the way I was trying to before. 
fill the red pipe. Need a more speedy method. There we go. And we'll run over here and fill our blue pipe. Let's aim our blue pipe. Left. Like a little bit more. Oh, not that much. Like that. Don't you dare. There we go. Let me aim down. Into... There. Might be a little bit low. It is. But let's fire that into the machine anyway. Protoplasm blobs. That's okay. <laughs> I'm cool with protoplasm blobs coming out of the machine. Don't know why they were in there, but I'm I'm cool with it. Okay. Protoplasm survey of the orchard complete. Oh. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Just orchard completed. Huh. chemical applications. With access to red and blue pulp, I can research the strange purple reactant that is momentarily created in the combination. Reactant appears to share many properties with protoplasm. Both contain vast chemical energy and are closely tied to fluoros, but reactant is much less stable. If I can apply some stabilizing agent, likely some kind of gas, I may be able to make this liquid into the key element within my accelerator. Further research is needed. Well then. Marvelous. Let's go take a look back at our giant machine. Let's see how it's coming. I get the feeling this accelerator is going to wind up being an incredibly bad idea after all. That's just water. No, we can, can't click that one. That's still just a steam. That one still just makes lava. Red pulp. And blue pulp. Well, is our glowy board still glowing? Yes, it is. Let's go take a look at the... Oh, the other board is glowing, too. Let's go take a look at it after. Erase those chemical equations. Add in red and blue, make purple, which does something. Orange adds something with some something something. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, let's go look at this other blackboard. Scribble, scribble, scribble. You have to add red and blue while it's reacting to make purple. Add those two into there. Huh. This seems like a fairly complicated process. Add two chemicals in there, red and blue together go into that part. I'm assuming that's what that means. I don't really understand. We'll have to go forward and see. Oh, hang on. Before we can do that, we have to go spend our protoplasm. What would be the point of having all these lovely unlocks if we didn't use them? So let's go use them. Alrighty. Well, we still have some level ones. Let's take this one. And we go three. Ta-da! Hello. We spin, we spin, we spin. I didn't even know what this thing does. I'm kind of excited to see. Same with the next one we're gonna get. Don't really know what they're for. What is this thing? A new nozzle, yeah. Let me change the nozzle then. Come on, I really hate how it locks like this. Okay, let's see what this nozzle does. Let's change to it. There it is. Oh. <laughs> it 
and sprays a full blob ready to spawn. That's kind of cool. What's the other level one we haven't got? There it is. And let's make him. Up we go. Clicking in number three. Oops. <laughs> this is not the best nozzle for this. Let's try a more classic one. There we go. Cool though, I like how it uh, sprays with the node inside it already. And the longer you charge determines how big a blob you get. I like it. Click. I'm just hoping that there's no puzzles that demand you have certain things. Not a big fan of that kind of puzzle solving. Puzzle making, rather. If you make it so it can all be solved with something you don't have, that's silly. Is this the same kind of deal? It just makes a bigger blob? <laughs> Shout out two eyes, but yeah, it seems like the same idea. Not entirely sure why you need one over the other, but whatever. I'm game. And we've got a couple left, so maybe we can make the standard nozzle level two. Standard nozzle, where are you? There you are. And up. And three. Yeah, we got just enough. I get the feeling you wouldn't have enough to do it. Um, so you, you're not going to have enough to do all of the upgrades. Because if there's only, only so many in the next area, all of the next stage upgrades need many vats of uh, protoplasm. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm guessing this is the maximum level for this upgrade. It is. New nozzle required. This is more of a nozzle upgrade than a new nozzle. I'll take it. Thanks. Ooh, it does shoot really far. Okay, I like it. That's some good range. Okay, that might make things easier. Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor with another episode of Vessel. We're going to head on uh, to our third area now, which may be the last one, because we have all three of the four lights lit now, because there were two different kinds of fluoro in that last area. So, I guess we'll see you then. Bye.